now an officially licensed marijuana club in Colorado Springs, the very first to be approved. The Speakeasy Club on Bijou got its license today. News 5's Ted Scroback was there as the owner got the new license and has more on this big step forward for the group, Ted. Elizabeth, Jamin Johnson told me that this license, with this license being granted, it could be a sign of a new future for marijuana clubs, despite the fact that they are set to be phased out over the next eight years. The Cannabis Club is really a social center just like any other. This social center is now legally licensed. The two owners of the Speakeasy went downtown to the administration building to be the first marijuana consumption club to get a license. We waited a long time. Got a license number and everything. Look at that. The Speakeasy has been around for four years, but co-owner Jamin Johnson says it wasn't until last year that the Bring Your Own Weed Club started having issues with the city. In the last year that it's become an issue. That was because of the number that opened in just a short period of time. Johnson tells News 5 because of the boom in cannabis clubs, the city created an ordinance to phase out clubs in eight years. A statement from the city about the new licenses reads, Council set forth an ordinance that requires all marijuana consumption clubs, or MCCs, to be licensed. Licenses must be renewed annually throughout the eight-year phase-out of MCCs. Any business that meets the definition established in the ordinance of a marijuana consumption club would have to be licensed under the Colorado Springs Municipal Code. I've met with many of the council members. I believe they are community-minded. Uh, I think they'll recognize the issue fairly quickly, and I think that we will adjust to account for it. Johnson told me he plans to run for city council and hopes he can make changes so that marijuana clubs can provide members with marijuana to get rid of issues that come with a bring-your-own-weed-style club. When the establishment doesn't provide cannabis, the worry is that uh, the black market providers will move in in an attempt to fill that need. Other club owners have reached out to News 5 about the Speakeasy being the only club so far to be approved for the new license. We'll follow up with what those owners say, and they're saying that they're planning to speak with the city about why some clubs have been denied the new license. Elizabeth. Ted, thank you.